What's going on beautiful people? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the most unsaturated products using two tools that I'm going to show you in this video. If you want to know what those tools are, keep watching. All right, guys, if you know me, you know, I'm all about finding unsaturated products and, and, and I see, I see this a lot that people consistently go after products that are super saturated, but also stealing all these creatives that been already so exhausted on, on, on all these platforms. One of the thing is this, that TikTok, Snapchat, Meta, Facebook, whatever, they all can recognize when you're reusing the content. So that's really important to know. Uh, this is not me showing you how to still like products or contents from someone else, but this is a tool that shows you how to find the most unsaturated or like before it gets super saturated, you can catch it before it gets super saturated. So for this video, we're going to be using two very specific tools. One of them is PP spy that I've been literally using every single day in the last couple of days, especially with their updates and everything has been like, I'll show you exactly how it works. And the second thing is PP ads that I've been using forever. Literally, I use it every single day. I don't think there's been a day that I don't log into it. And I just like, I'm always logging into it. If I want to look for an ad, I log into it. If I want to lo look for my own ads, I log into it and I search the word. If I want to look for someone else's ad, I log into it and search for their ads. Um, it's just very practical. It's so easy to use. It's so it's just so easy. So I'm going to show you first what PP, uh, PP Spy is. PP Spy is this platform that you can pretty much track people's revenue sales every day. So um, I want to start from the dashboard. So these are the stores that I put in my pretty much watch list. Um, I found them on PP ads. This is kind of how I use it, but you can use it a little bit differently. I go on PP ads and then I find these products. I like to go on new products or I go on product search. I'll show you a couple methods that I can use. Uh, I like to go in the last seven days just to see what the new products are. And then I scroll down and if I see products that I haven't seen, or it's been a while since I've seen them. So for example, this is one, some, one thing that I've, you know, I've seen, but I haven't seen in a while. So when I click on it, it, it shows me the store's name, right? And I scroll down, it shows me every single ad that the store is running to that uh, link. So I kind of take a look, you know, I look at their ads. It kind of gives me an idea if they know what they're doing, right? So let's take a look. Ears, there's actually a warning on the box which says, do not insert into ears. This is because the Q-tip actually pushes the wax into the ear, causing a buildup of wax that can't naturally clear itself. Instead, try the Fluffera ear cleaner. It has a tiny camera to help you see inside your ear while cleaning. Just connect it to your phone. This right is actually kind of a good ad. A funny thing with Facebook, we used we scaled this product really big years ago. So let's say I decide that I want to spy on this store, right? I want to see how long they've been adding it, how long they've been running this ad. Um, of what the revenue is like if it's a brand new like what i want to look for is basically i have kind of a criteria i want to look for products that haven't like been added to the store let's let's say the last seven days they've been getting a couple sales so it looks like they're getting sales they're just about to scale them so i'm catching them before they get scaled i go get my own content done so what, it, what it's telling me that that product right now and the last seven days has been hot it's been selling so that means that it could be scalable so someone else is basically kind of um, uh, verifying that product for me and I'm going ahead and making a better video, better website, better everything for it. And then running it myself. This is like such a like trustworthy method to try to find a winning product. And honestly, if you're not doing it, you should hundred percent do it. Uh, I'll put all the links for PP ads and PP spy down below. If you guys want to go check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and open the store, right? So I'm going to go ahead and open the store. PP spy has an extension. I already downloaded it and then I'm going to go ahead on live sales. So what I'm going to go, go, I'm going to go track this store and it takes a little bit to, to basically, uh, start tracking it. Right. Once it tracks it. So one of the things that it does is when I go to the products, um, it shows me when it got, it was added to the, so created three days ago, right? So it tells me that it's a kind of a brand new store, right? It's, it's a brand new product. Um, it got sales a few seconds ago. So it takes a little bit of time to actually upload, uh, update, but whenever, whenever it's updates, it's going to show here, right? So it's going to show me all the sales today, yesterday and everything else. And I can see the sale trend and everything. So I sc scrolling down, so kind of just getting an idea because it takes time for the brand new one to kind of show. So let's say, for example, let's say this one, 660. So this is pro I'm looking for anything that is less than thousand. So that means, and then they've been added for less than seven days. So seven days, they just been added and um, they're not getting crazy amount of sales, but it looks like they're just getting scaled, right? What, what my goals are is finding a product that has just recently been added to a store. 
but they don't they're not getting crazy amount of sales yet that's that means that they're just playing it around they're trying to see if this is scalable or not so i want to catch them before it's super saturated so there's not that many people still scaling it there's not so many people running it there's not crazy amount of people out there trying to scale the same product that's my goal so I, I have all these stores that i'm tracking so let's say 14 sales yes or 14 sales now so it kind of give me an idea okay they're trying to sell it they they're uh they're selling the product um it's not super saturated let's just click on the store that i've already you know been tracking it so let's see what, what what's the product that they're selling so the product um uh, product let's go here what was it that I was tracking oh i think it was this one okay so a few few seconds ago let's go here um it's this projector okay it's coming back it's been a while <laughs> i think last year i've seen a lot of people really scaling it as a good you know it's a decent looking store uh looks like they're let's see 14 products sold uh estimated remedy nearly 600 dollars this product um created a day ago so it could be it, it also if it gets uh, if they update the page, it might say say that it created a day ago. Another thing is sometimes you also see that they, there's two, three pages of the same product. If you see that, that means that they definitely are scaling it because they're trying to split test the price. So they could, this could be, obviously this is, this is not all 100% accurate, but this is kind of a estimate that you're getting, right? So I would put that on my list. This is like, that's, that would be something that, because I've seen it scaled last year, but I haven't seen it really scaled this year. So that would be something. So this is my list. I'm gonna go ahead, let's say projector. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the product on my thing. By the way, I'm going to do a product research. I'm going to put 10 products here that I think they're worth testing for testing on TikTok. If you want the list, stay till the end of this video. And I'm going to tell you how you can access this list. I'll tell you what you need to do. So stay till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can access this list. Okay. So like I said, back in here, uh, I have all these stores. So this is the first way of doing it, right? You can go here. Uh, you can go on PP ads. You can uh, you can go to new products. You can find all these products. Let's say these products that have just been added. There are people just testing them. There's not that many people running these products. Uh, after a while, when you do a lot of product research, you get very familiar with who's running these products, who's uh, what's new, what's uh, who's been running new products. You see the same products over and over again, so you kind of find out these products are not worth testing and what products are actually worth testing and putting your effort into. And one of the things that I keep telling people, do not like steal videos from the others. M most likely either they're gonna get flagged. If they ever, if their account's ever been flagged, that video is gonna get flagged. You're gonna get flagged. The whole IP is gonna get flagged. It's just such a pain and you gotta kind of, it's just not worth it. So what I would do most of the time is like get your own creatives done. I have a list of influencers. I have a free discord, by the way, guys, if you wanna go ahead and check it out down below. I have a lot of free information in there. There's some part of it that if you need to access, it is paid. Uh, like if you need a, like I have a list of influencers that I personally work with and they're like very high, uh, high converting content creators um, you have to pay for. There is, it's worth paying someone to create good content for you that w would convert. So that's something that I recommend highly, highly doing. Uh, it's just an investment that you make. So, you know, it's, it takes money to make money. So this is one way to use it. Obviously on PP ads, there's like so many updates, you know, since the last time that I talked about it, I'll probably maybe make another video on the new things that are here, but new products are one way. Another way that I like to use that you can just go to TikTok ad search and just, you know, find, you know, go on US and then last scene, last seven days and just like look at these products and like, you know, scroll down. Cause I, I realize you get different videos than new products, even though they kind of supposed to be the same, but they're different. And then you can also do the days. Let's say how many days they've been running. So like, let's say seven days or four days, five days. So you can find like products, let's say that it looks like they are just blowing up. So that it's not gonna be all drop shipping. Obviously there's gonna be like all kind of products here because it's showing you all, all type of ads. Um, Okay, there we go. Some people are running it again. This is the same pro. Okay. 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 I, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess that they're gonna be scaling this product. I think this is gonna be drop shipping too. So okay, this is one way of using it. Back to PPA, PP Spy. So you can. When you, in the dashboard, you can do that. There's another way of doing a product product research on PP Spy, which is crazy. So you can do Meta or Facebook, you know, search TikTok, Pinterest, Snapchat. You can do all kinds of stuff. So like for the sake of this, you can actually we can actually do uh, Snapchat, and then you can look for product uh, stores that let's say they're doing their monthly sales is like 
500 to let's say 1000 or something like that or um actually let's go to revenue let's go to revenue let's say we're gonna pick this and then let's just do a search let's just do a general search one of the thing with this is that it's gonna show you everything right it's not just gonna be very specific video uh, products uh, or you know very very specific dropshipping products is going to be everything but this is like something you can access like it literally shows you what platforms they're running ads on uh how much sales they're getting when did they add the product when was their last sale when was it created what niche they're running ads on um every information like everything you need is going to be here and you can watch so like for example this is a dropshipping product uh we're going to go and then we're going to let's say we're going to track it right we're going to do live sales and we're going to uh, click on track and we're going to track this, right? So once this track is going to get added to your dashboard, now you can track their everything. You can literally, it's going to get added here again. And then you can track their sales. You can track how much they sold yesterday. You can track, uh, when they make an edit, when, when everything they do in their store, you can track in their store, which is great. Not necessarily just so you can copy them, but you can get a lot of information of what work works and what doesn't work. Right? So going back to their store, even all, all the other information you can get, if you go to shop, um, here you can see what the theme that they're using. <laughs> like a lot of people think that they, you have to pay for, you know, themes like they use debut, you know, and then the first product they've been in business since 2020. Um, if you go to products, it shows you all this. You can even export their product, which is kind of crazy because people always have this security stuff that they can't, you can't download the products. You can even download their products, um, back into live sales. This is still tracking. It shows you monthly visits. Um, it kind of give you an idea. I don't want to go out like after stores getting crazy amount of month monthly visits because you know a lot of other people are watching them as well uh go to apps we'll see if you know um what apps they're actually using uh we can you know any information that you need you can pretty much get in here i'm gonna do a product research i'm gonna actually spend an hour or two and do a full-on product research using this because i like to take my time it takes an hour or two for uh the tracking thing to track so i'm gonna take my time you know get some tea take my time and then do a product research. Uh, I'm gonna do 10, 15 products in here. All you gotta do to access this list, I'm gonna give you this list of products that I think are worth testing, uh, is you gotta go subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed, subscribe, like this video, and, uh, and then go comment down below what type of videos you want me to make next. Then go on my Instagram right here and then DM me the word PP Spy Product Research 2023 and I'll send you the link to this. So that's all you gotta do. So DM me, I will send you the link to access this. I'm gonna send you their com the competition store, the product, uh, product page, the TikTok link. I might send you something bonus, extra bonus too. So make sure to DM me and I'll, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know in a comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.